Shalom from Jerusalem. This is day 143 in this uh, war with Hamas, Israel versus Hamas, not against the uh, people in, in Gaza. I wanted to mention a few things. First of all, uh, the pressure that uh, Israel is having is going through uh, pressure from uh, the United States, from the European Union, European Union, from the United Nations. Joe Biden is actually um, pressuring Israel into accepting a two-state solution, a uh, Palestinian state next to this Israeli Jewish state. But time and again, uh, the terrorist group Hamas and the PA, the Palestinian Authority, have they have declared that they don't want a two-state solution. They want the whole thing. And uh, so, why is Joe Biden doing this? Well, Joe Biden doing uh, Joe Biden is doing this because he is losing a lot of votes in Michigan, the Arab Muslim votes in Michigan, and so he's uh, trying to do something so that he'll be able to get those votes because they've already said that they won't vote for Joe Biden uh, because he's been so in favor of Israel. Um, so the pressure is that Israel should accept a ceasefire, um, a permanent ceasefire. That's what they want. But if Israel accepts a, a permanent ceasefire, that would mean that Hamas would be uh, victor. Uh, there would be victory for Hamas, the terrorist groups, and it would be a total. Um, it would be accepting that Israel would have to fight this war again and again and again. So we can't do that because every time Israel uh, ac uh, accepts these, these pressures or gives in to these pressures, then we have to go to another war. We've had a war in 2012, in 2014, in 2021. All these wars, because we don't uh, finish the war, we don't finish the terrorist group Hamas, this time, Netanyahu has, uh, has again declared that their goal is to return the hostages back to back home here in Israel and to get rid of and eliminate the terrorist, terrorist group Hamas, demilitarize Gaza. That's the goal. And so we've got to pray that Israel, uh, Netanyahu doesn't give in to these pressures. Uh, another, another group that's, uh, that needs to cease to exist is UNRWA, the United Nations uh, group he, uh, in Gaza that deals with the Palestinian refugees, uh, which uh, they haven't done a good job because they for they teach the, the Arabs in Gaza that uh, the war with Israel has not existed. It, it has not finished. The, the war in 1948 war has not ended and that they're still fighting the war and that their situation as refugees is because Israel took their land and they will someday go back to Israel, to their land, to Palestine, excuse me. And so they, they brainwashed their, their, their brainwashed thinking that they need to fight for their land and they need to kill Jews. And it's just a terrible thing that the United Nations through UNRWA has done. So Netanyahu has declared that the two goals is, or several goals, but two of the main goals is to uh, uh, bring back the hostages from Gaza and the elimination of Hamas. So I don't understand why the world has, has sided with the uh, terrorist group Hamas Instead, they should be siding with Israel in, and, and, and uh, declaring or protesting that Hamas releases hostages. These are innocent people, little kids, babies, uh, young people, young girls, uh, women, older men. They're innocent people. 
and they're being held in the hands of the terrorist, terrorist group Hamas. So in, at this time, Israel is preparing uh, to, to uh, they're preparing their ground in, uh, mission in uh, Rafah, which is in the southern part of the Gaza Strip, close to Egypt and obviously close to on the border with Israel. And uh, so it's, it's interesting because um, there's a lot of pressure from outside against Israel that Israel don't invade that Israel don't invade uh, Rafah, but that's where uh, it's believed that all the uh, hostages are being held. And also, this is the last stronghold of the terrorist group Hamas in Rafah. And uh, we're so close to uh, reaching the goal, which is the total uh, defeat of the ter terrorist group Hamas, the terrorist uh, group, the Islamic Jihad, so that's the, one of the goals. And um, so like I said, giving in to these, uh, these, this pressure from the United States, from Joe Biden, would be uh, very, very bad for Israel. At the beginning, uh, talking about the, this ceasefire, there's a possibility of a ceasefire uh, pretty soon, hopefully. At the beginning, Hamas, the reason why we uh, Israel hadn't agreed to a ceasefire is because Hamas was demanding, had a big list, had a big list of demands, and they were ridiculous. They were demanding Israel to withdraw completely from Gaza, to release all the prisoners, all the prisoners uh, that are in Israeli prisoners, uh, Israeli prisons, and um, that Israel not step in the Temple Mount, to stay away from the Temple Mount, and some other demands. Um, a permanent ceasefire, that's what they, they were asking for. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and uh, Netanyahu kept saying this is a non-starter. So, but it, it seems like Hamas has gone down in their demands and they're not asking Israel to completely destroy, uh, withdraw from Gaza. And uh, it seems like there, there might be a, a two month or a 60 day ceasefire uh, release of like between 30 and 40 hostages. Hopefully it'll be 40, not 30 hostages. But in exchange for 300 terrorists or as they call it prison prisoners from the israeli prisons so not all the prisoners so and there's other other details that they're still negotiating but there's a possibility so we have to pray that israel does not netanyahu does not give in to the pressures from joe biden and uh the the democratic party Democrat Party in the United States and the pressures from the EU and the pressure from the uh, United Nations. So this is what's going on. And uh, let's keep praying for the soldiers, for the leaders of this country, for the hostages. And... Uh, that that the that this the soldiers will be able to to rescue some more before the ceasefire happens or but they that they will rescue more hostages sooner rather than later anyway god bless thanks a lot shalom shalom